Okay, I just wanted to show you some of the things that industrial designers use to make uh, models and to come up with ideas and just a, a couple of various things. Um, here's some uh, additive, additive manufacturing stuff, uh, pumpkins and ducks. Um, use plaster to make models and uh, let's see. And then over here, my little workbench, I have all sorts of things to work with. There's, there's uh, clay, a different sorts. This is a hard clay, and there's medium clay that's good for sculpting. Uh, this aluminum wire is really bendable, and you can make things really fast with that. Um, sometimes you cast with resin. Um, I, I use, well, paints for painting. I have some paintings here I'm working on. And let's see, up here, uh, I've got a, uh, a seat from Uganda, and it's a portable chair. And then I've got some salt and pepper shakers that I greatly dislike. They're hard to tell what's what, and they slip out of your hands. I could go on and on. Um, work with models, uh, polystyrene models, for example, and I've got some, well, I'll show that later. Uh, I've got, oh, there's a little vacuum chamber I made for doing some vacuum molding, and glues and a lot of wood. It's all good and a good old uh, exacto knife set and a digital calipers for measuring things and getting ideas of what you like. Uh, connects. You can do all kinds of neat. This is just a connect uh, prime mover and you can do all kinds of neat things with connects. Uh, kids toys great for working with linkage mechanisms. You can experiment. Uh, you design by building rather than Paper. This is a, uh, a casting of an apple core that I ate, and I decided to cast it and paint it, so that's handy. Uh, just different glues, again, for polystyrene, and I've got uh, special glues here. I've got more in the studio. And then, of course, a hot glue gun. Holds everything together when you want it together. This is uh, adhesive for um, adhering clear plastic. And then up here, all kinds of stuff. This is uh, a low-temperature plastic bead, so if you want to make plastic parts, you can make them with this. They don't come out really high quality, but they, they, uh, they're easy to work with. Good for prototyping. I got some paint here. More again, more in the studio. Fixative. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's not. Um, yeah, there's more polystyrene. This is like a, a mesh that goes on in this expanded aluminum wire. It's handy for making large, large uh, sculptures. Anyway, here's some of that. Here's some of that resin. <laughs> so you can see what that looks like. Uh, for doing casting and different uh, different uh, epoxy paints and it's super sculpy it's great for well, these are closed but anyway you know for low temperature baking so there's that and you can paint it and let's see oh I guess oops kettles up here and different things <laughs> uh, bar of titanium which everyone should have uh, Lego Mindstorms right here, which is always helpful. And just different drawing supplies. And down here, all kinds of stuff. And I won't go through it all, but I've got, actually I've got, uh, I've got a PLC programmable logic controller for some messing around with controls. I've got actually some chemicals in here. And uh, gosh, I don't know what else I've got here. All kinds of, uh, polystyrene sheets in here. That's full of polystyrene sheets that you can uh, bend and so on. And what else is of interest? Calvin Hobbes, who I'm a big fan of. And what's over here? Well, oh, I've got lots of foam core. And this is a plastic you can use to, uh, it's, a, it's a low temperature multi plastic. I also have some of this stuff too, which is good for medical devices. It's a softer uh, um, foam that cures. Um, and anyway, I, that's just a little summary of what I have here. I got a photo studio, and uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining me in my office.